right, it is Monday morning, December 28th, I think. My condo is a hot garbage mess. A lot to do, gotta take down Christmas. Can I have that mixer thing? A lot to do, gotta take down Christmas and go through stuff so that I don't pack things that I'm never gonna use again. I feel like I had a lot of Christmas decorations that I didn't touch, so I'm gonna go through them, donate pretty much 99% of everything. I'm not gonna do Poshmark or anything. I don't have time, we leave next week. So I need to kind of just get stuff out of here and make this less clutter free so that the movers can just come in and go into the garage and grab stuff and have stuff in each room that they can just come in and pick up so it's not chaotic. That's the plan today. Bye, you. I'm excited to take my Christmas tree down. Oh my God. I just thought I would show y'all how I'm doing this. So I have ornaments right here, but I filled this whole tub. I'm doing a whole, I don't know how big this one is, but this whole thing is Christmas decor. Everything that goes on my tree is in here, which makes me really happy because then next Christmas, all I have to do is just pull out this one big tote with all, everything in it. Some people may already do that, but before I would just put everything in multiple boxes and try to find like, these are my lace ornaments, these are my striped ornaments, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just gonna put everything in here and right on the top ornaments and can just pull it out. So I'm gonna individually like do those cause those are last, but I'm gonna put everything in here and it'll be in one spot. And then as far as the tree goes, we're actually getting rid of this tree. The whole bottom half of it is out. It was a $70 tree from Walmart and I've loved it. I thought it did a great job for three years. I've used it for three years now. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my other tree that I bought last year for my house with tall ceilings. Hopefully I'll buy a house that has bolted ceiling so I can use that one but this guy's going away he's in a little yeah looking like a flipping gremlin today lots of packing has been done but I just got a super exciting delivery Balance's brand new Atmos collection is here and if you haven't followed them on Instagram they're actually launching a sub label with Balance and it's called Vitality so every single Balance launch moving forward is going to have a Vitality launch with just a regular Balance Athletica launch so Vitality is lifestyle pieces that will be able to complement the Balance collection itself so every single vitality launch i'll get two full colorways in um out of all the colorways i'll get two for two full colorways of every single piece so i'll be able to give you guys a really good idea of what the pieces look like in two different colors and then as always i always get the whole balance collection so i'm just going to show you guys the pretty boxes and do a little unboxing with you guys alongside instagram stories because i'm so excited it's really dark i have shitty lighting but we're going to try and make it work love to show the detail on the boxes this is assuming i have not opened either of these yet i'm about to but this is the balance box and they have my name on the top so beautiful I have a really really good feeling that this collection is gonna be close to Oasis for a favorite for me because Oasis was my favorite collection of 2020 and then this is the vitality box they're both super heavy this one also has my name on it attention to detail right little so we're just gonna go ahead and open these up first this is the first time I've opened them I really want to open vitality first <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Look at how beautiful this box is. <gasps> Holy cow. There's styling pieces in here. I did know that. We have included some styling pieces for your Atmos collection. We can't wait to see the beautiful pieces. Oh my gosh. I mean, oop, there's a little bit of a delay on some bodysuits. Okay. So this is the little. Ooh. This is going to be beautiful. This is so helpful because this kind of helps us as athletes and um, leaders to kind of help you guys. So I'm going to kind of peek through this. They sent some shoes. So fun. A bag. Some fun stuff to style with. Oh my goodness. This is wild. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull out some of these pieces for you guys here in a second. But let's open up the balance box. Holy. Oh. <gasps> Look at these beautiful pastels. So Atmos actually stands for atmosphere. And atmosphere is kind of, uh, they're trying to like showcase storms that we go through in life. Looks like there's a whole nother book. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I will show you guys once I have it all laid out. I'm going to show Instagram a little bit, but I just want to give you guys a little sneaky peek. As always, I will have a full try on on my YouTube channel for you guys trying on everything, giving my honest opinion on everything that will be coming soon. It is Monday. We leave on Wednesday. I have been so horrible at actually vlogging the pack in progress, but I think this is a little bit better so I can kind of tell you guys and show you guys exactly how we packed things, why I packed things the way I packed them, and kind of progress-wise of how we're going to 
to do things but we leave in two freaking days two freaking days i'm so excited <laughs> actually just got home we i shot some photos for the new atmos collection i don't know i think i unboxed a little bit of it in this video for you guys i'll just show you guys really quick my outfit i have on this is the dancer wrap top in surge it is so beautiful this color is amazing and then this top actually has thumb holes on it so you can put your fingers through and it's so comfortable and honestly perfect for winter or even being in the warmth because it's just super lightweight and nice and then it has the tie down here where you can kind of adjust how you want things like you can adjust the ties it's seriously like a ballerina top i love it so much and then these are the thunderstorm Afro thunderstorm affirmation joggers they have the little logo right there and everything but so stinking cute i'm obsessed with it anyways i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of packing and how i did things how we packed things just so i can kind of give some tips and maybe some ideas for you guys so i'll just kind of start and flip here i have more packing to do tonight but i wanted to just kind of show you guys really quick this is kind of an overview of what the place looks like not my norm obviously but we're leaving so basically all totes i will link down below my favorite things that i use made some mistakes that i would redo so i bought a ton of totes from target and walmart great that's awesome but there are way cheaper totes in different locations and you guys even told me more cheap things so these totes right here are the best totes ever these are super super durable really really thick i think they're 27 gallon totes they are 9.98 at home depot and lowe's and that is so much less expensive than like this for example was 9.98 and i think i got one of them was 10.99 i think the gray ones were 10.99 on sale at target and they're great they're hefty and like I like that they have this extra room up here, which is great for packing, but I just think that these are a little bit better for the price because of the durability of them. I will use these totes for literally years. So got these ones. I like that they're clear. I still would recommend these because again, they're really, really durable up here to keep your stuff and they have this extra store, extra stuff space up here. So if you have stuff kind of bulging up a little bit, like I have some extra stuff up here, it's really nice and kind of keeps it handy. So I have our food and stuff in here. I kind of just piled these full so I could see what was in them. And then I used these totes for basically everything else. These black durable ones for most other things. And then I do have boxes and stuff obviously but that is for the kitchen stuff i put all of that in there so i could see things and then you're going to see miscellaneous stuff in here but another thing that i discovered boxes and stuff but one of my favorite things that i discovered with this move was these magic bags so these magic bags are from walmart i've had mixed reviews on these a lot of people said that these sucked and that they came undone but i've had nothing but good luck with them so i got tons of different sizes this is all of my linens and this stuff took up an entire linen closet that was just massive from top to bottom so I think this is fantastic. I have like eight pillows in one of these bags and it condensed it down to what it is. You basically just take a vacuum to it and it condenses it down and flattens it a little bit. So as you can see, I have tons of them right here, but that was a really great packing tip that I kind of did. And then I put... Uh, what they were on there just so I would know even though I can tell for the most part what they are just by looking at them But some of these like I won't even undo them because some of them are winter blankets or fall, you know that kind of thing So great idea with those And then I obviously have this is my sound beam if you have boxes for things that go to something that's able like this is an ex like a more expensive speaker I kept the box for it which is so handy with moving because I wouldn't want to just put this in a box I'd need more padding so if you can just keep a box for something specifically like this so nice to have when you're moving this packing tip is probably my favorite one so I you guys know me I love decor I have tons of different decor so my biggest worry with moving long distance, this would be different than just an in-state move because an in-state move, we can put stuff in cars and just go, but this is actual movers taking my things and I don't want things to be ruined or signs like this one specifically to get scratches all over it. So what I did was I ordered the packaging film that people use to like pack things and I got one big roll of that. I'll link that below as well. And I took padding, as you can see in the back there, I took padding, like I got the long kind at Walmart and you can get it lots of different places or bubble wrap whatever floats your boat and I put them in between the signs so that when you conjoin signs together I have one two I think I have three total in here I just conjoined them but I put padding in between each so that the black's not getting ruined this beautiful sign's not getting scratched up and then saran wrapped it basically all the way around and I know that's not the most friendly ecos kind of thing but 
I don't move, you know, every day. So this is kind of what I just have to do. I did that for tons of different signs. Like this one has, I think, three in there total. So nice. Such a great little packing hack if you're someone like me and you just have tons of different signs. And then balance boxes for clothes and stuff like that. More boxes. And then over here, I'll take you guys out into the garage and kind of show you what I'm dealing with out here. Miscellaneous stuff isn't completely packed up yet. I have so much to do tomorrow. This is tomorrow's the last day we're here. Um, so out here, I have more totes. So like I said, this is one of the totes that I got from Walmart. And I really like this one because this one does have wheels on it, which is so great for them and for us for just future use. But again, these were way more pricey than these. Like this tote right here was $23.98. Way more durable, bigger, nicer, go to Home Depot or Lowe's. A lot of you told me Menards and um, Costco had great deals too. So just a little, just a little PSA. As you can see back here, like the treadmill and stuff is all just gonna go, they're just gonna lift it up on a gate. So that's great. But for things like the signs, again, you can kind of see those back there. Lots more boxes, some totes I had before. Another little tip are these blue bags. So these, just to kind of lift one up and show you, these are from Amazon. These are great. This is a great idea for clothes. I have, like they're huge. I ordered eight. I think they come in the option of four, six, eight, 10, maybe 16, but they're zippered up bags and it's just like a, um, I don't know what to describe, like a recyclable kind of material, almost like a freezer bag type material. I have my hydro jugs in there. You can stuff so much stuff in these bags, you guys, so much. Great idea for hangers, that kind of thing. Just the things that you can't find a box for or that would be stupid to put in a tote. I've really loved having these as well. Um, what else? Lots of miscellaneous stuff up there, but this is basically my entire life in my garage, <laughs> ready to go for the mover. They're coming really bright and early on uh, Wednesday. They'll be here at like eight in the morning or something like that. So that'll be great, get packed up, and then we will make our first trek to Nashville. That's where we're stopping for the night, and then we will finish out the journey to Georgia the next day. What else can I show you guys packing hack wise? It is, what time is it? Eight o'clock, I need to make a list. For tomorrow, get all my ducks in a row before we leave the Midwest. We, so cold out today, it's so sinking cold and everybody just keeps saying like, are you so excited to like not be in the cold? And I think it's supposed to be 50 on Friday in GA, which isn't the warmest ever, but it's much better than, you know, 27 degrees. So that's that. But everything is kind of making its way to being empty, which is so stinking crazy. We're making, well, hello. Are you gonna come up? Okay, more totes again. Like I have all my bathroom stuff in this and I think these totes are great for that. More of the shrink wrap bags. Packing cubes are great. I'm gonna link these for you guys as well. These are fantastic. I'm packing up my suitcase for like the three to four days of things that I'm gonna need when the movers, like in case the movers weren't gonna get there in time or whatever, I'm packing a bunch of stuff in my suitcase. So these packing cubes are fantastic. They come in different sets. So like this is the cheetah leopard one. It comes with two big cubes and then a smaller cube thing here. This is a better example. This is the polka dot one. So it comes with this bag, same as that. A smaller one it comes with two of these like I have my toiletries in this bag actually right now that I just uh, brought with me for my little shoot with balance and then two of these big ones so two big ones two of this size and then this cute little guy which I love so much I think that's great but it has that so packing cubes is another must-have that I found that I've loved while packing and what else I think utilize Utilize the bags you have, like if you have suitcases or anything like that that you, you know, are good quality that you can pack stuff up in. That has been super helpful for sure. We going? We got a toy. What else? This room is done. I like wrapped up the desk and stuff, things that I didn't want to get scratched. We have a TV back there. I'm not super worried about that, but hopefully they will pad it really well. They told me that they would, so I'm really hoping that they do. But this is all this stuff. And then in here, I have more signs wrapped up. This was my decor closet. Crazy, 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 crazy. 
like stuff like this i can't wrap that or put that in a box so i just kind of have it like that and i'm hoping that they will do their thing because they're the professionals and know what they're doing so this room and then more boxes in here okay. Okay. caleb wrapped up bubble wrapped some of my mirrors and so like he's using the bags for his clothes right now you just stuff as much as you can in there and then use the vacuum and you put the vacuum right on that little hole and it will suck all of it out it's super cool since we're talking about packing stuff i just want to show you so like i said these are very different this one is the cheetah and then there's the polka dot and then this is actually the makeup bag i use that has all of my stuff in it but this i actually got an exclusive little discount for you guys on my billy razors if you've never heard me talk about these this razor is a nine dollar razor they have a little subscription but i switched over to this razor i want to say over a year ago a little over a year ago but basically it is the best razor ever it is nine dollars the refills are all nine dollars it is the smoothest shave i've ever had i swear to you i cannot shave for at least two days with this razor it is such such a good shave and it's super smooth too i'm actually going to switch out the blades just because we're leaving and stuff but um i'm going to pop on a new razor once we get there that pops up onto the wall so for the oh, hang on let me put this on so every time you replace it the blade is going to be a charcoal razor blade and that really does give it a smooth shave like a super super smooth shave and that's probably my favorite part about it is how smooth it is this is the best for my razor burn because i've always had razor burn and the ones i used to use were super expensive so this one is super duper affordable i'm gonna give you guys the code it's 10 percent off for holly 10 like i said i use their shaving cream as well everything's kind of packed in here all my stuff but this is their shaving cream i use this as well for everything on my body it's so good super moisturizing just a really really good shaving cream they have great products i've also used their makeup wipes all that so and it also comes in this cute little travel case here so i'll just show you guys every time i travel this is my favorite part about my razor because this is so nice to just throw in like i don't have to worry about it instead of the razor like doing something or grabbing it and cutting it comes and it's just super duper nice so let me know if you guys have any questions on it but shout out to billy for sponsoring this video for the code we drove all day yesterday caleb drove the full nine hours we are in Nashville, Tennessee. We are at the Hotel Preston, and I booked this on Priceline actually and got a really, really good deal. So we are staying here just for the night, and then we are obviously gonna drive the remaining amount today. It is about seven hours, a little under seven hours to GA. We are in Southern Georgia, so it's a little bit of a trek, but we're gonna do that today. Um, we, I think I mentioned this, maybe I have not mentioned this to you guys, but we have actually not seen our rental. Like I said, this is a temporary rental, uh, depending upon what happens to Caleb and work and where we end up. We won't be in here forever or, you know, for a super long period of time. So we have never seen it in person. We have only seen pictures. So this will definitely be an interesting YouTube video. Obviously, um, a series of moving in and starting over in a new place. We've never seen it before. So that's kind of exciting. I, because they're doing really, really well, I had a lot of questions on Instagram about about bringing a dog to a hotel and all I did when I booked this and this is normally what I do is hop hotline or price it's Priceline I normally just go on Priceline and I find a hotel that's like anywhere between three to four stars that's good for me and then you just kind of read which ones are options and then you can find a really affordable price and I just found one that allows dogs he is doing great he has we brought his bed in and he slept in that and then you know the typical jump up on the bed in the morning but i want to show you guys these little portable bowls because i think that they're so great i got this off amazon and i keep these latched to my little travel bag they literally just fold down so that will fold down with his food stuff i'll wipe that off before i put it back and then his water bowl and stuff and they just collapse together and you can carry it everywhere i also have another small little travel bag that works great for traveling if you have a dog but yeah that's that and then last night, I don't know if you guys are Nashville hot chicken fans, but I had uh, Kale try Hattie B's. So stinking good. We got way too much food, but I wanted him to experience it. Did you like it? Yeah. It was so good. Like on a scale of like Zach's B's and Chick-fil-A and stuff. The chicken tenders that I had, would I get the originals? Or the you got the originals. I got the grilled. They were better than Zach's B's. And probably Chick-fil-A. I think they're really good. Oh, I haven't talked about this on YouTube yet. This blanket is from Rosie Days. You guys, this is literally like 
a barefoot dreams blanket and Casey I've oh my god it's so good so that side is that and then if you flip it it's like white I love it so much not in stock I'll let you guys know when it is though because it's $80 compared to 180 that's another fun little thing but yeah we are gonna get our day started our morning started in Nashville and get back on the road soon this is what night one looks like I just took all the makeup off my face so I'm not gonna show you guys my face but this is our little place a little preview i will do a full tour and everything once we're a little bit settled but we just bought a 60 dollars air mattress at target we got some sheets and a blanket that we'll reuse we're gonna actually buy a queen mattress and stuff for our guest room over there so that will be that but this is where we're hanging this is actually kaiser's bed and he thinks that the silk, <laughs> the silk pillow is his guys <laughs> grounded. but i thought i would just give you guys a little overview i'm not going to go in depth in every room but this is it it is a very cute little house um like i said we will not be here super long hopefully um like less than six months six months max we hope but I will kind of just show you guys around. I don't know why he's doing that. Ugh, gross. I'll just walk you guys in here. Um, this is the kitchen that leads into the pool table room. I'll show you guys more tomorrow once our stuff gets here. But we are just hanging out. We had some pizza, drinking a bottle of wine, and kind of settling in for the night, huh? Yeah. me at a low Cause where you go is where I go